Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Hannah Wallace and we're here today at WSO2's conference in London. Joining me is Paul Fremantle from WSO2 and we're going to be talking about digital transformation. Paul, thank you for joining us today. It's a great pleasure. Firstly, how do you think digital transformation is affecting the banking industry? The big thing, of course, that everybody's focused on in digital transformation in the banking industry is PSD2. And we, a lot of our customers are very focused on that right now. And we have a number of customers we're helping with that PSD2 journey. But I think what's really interesting is that a lot of them are taking this opportunity to build an adaptive digital platform where they actually don't just meet compliance, but they go beyond compliance and start to change their, their whole organization around digital transformation. OK, and what do you mean by an adaptive digital platform? How does it help? The APIs is that if you can build APIs internally within the organization, then you can start to create a set of business functions that can be orchestrated, that can be tied together to build new business products, to go to market quicker. And this starts to become this adaptive digital platform that can really help banks transform, become more agile and, and react to the market quicker. So is it all about APIs then? So APIs are a really important part of this and that's where most banks start and, and most organisations start. But what we've found is that APIs are just about pull and push is also important. What I mean by push is the ability to react to events in the market and to streams of information. So for example, fraud detection is a great example of reacting to a stream of credit card events and, dis and spotting when something is wrong. Uh, the other way around, you can actually spot when something's right. You can highlight your best customers, you can understand their behavior, you can do enhanced digital marketing by analyzing those events and streams. And finally, digital customer experiences will continue to evolve. How should a technology strategy support the evolution of these experiences? I've been looking at my, my keynote talk uh, yesterday was all about how biological evolution is a way we can think about the, this challenge of how to build an evolving uh, adaptive organization. And having the right abstractions is important, but just as important is to build the right team. So once you've got this digital platform, if you pull together the right people from product owners, product managers, uh, technical developers, and then you build the right governance and observability so you can see the effects of your, of your new offerings, then you can really quickly adapt and you can start to build faster product life cycles, you can get products to market quicker, and that's when the real power of this comes to the business because you can meet the business needs and adapt to the environment, to the market, to customers, much more quickly. Paul, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you very much, Hannah. And thank you for watching.